Welcome to our year-end Best of the Pure Music Minute 2019, as we take a moment to look back on an incredible year. In January, we started the year with a bang when we welcome hit singer-songwriter and 2019 Canadian Music Hall of Fame inductee Corey Hart to the Pure Music family, along with his first new single in 20 years with his song Dreaming Time Again. The 61st Annual Grammy Awards came in February, and Pure Music writers came away with wins in several categories, including Best R&B Song for LMA's Booed Up, co-written by Lawrence Dobson, Best Gospel Christian Album of the Year for Jason Crabb's Unexpected, featuring co-writes from Neil Thrash and Jeffrey East, and Best Regional Mexican Album for Luis Miguel's Mexico Por Siempre, featuring many Latin classics from the Pure Music catalog. Also in February, we announced the signing of former Black Crows and Burning Tree songwriter-musician Mark Ford, whose band The Magpie Salute's second album, High Water 2, would debut on the Billboard 200 later in the year. And closing out the month, Pure Music CEO Ralph Peer II and Deputy CEO Mary Megan Peer were selected to Billboard's 2019 Power 100 list. In March, Maren Morris released her 2019 CMA Album of the Year winner, Girl, which features Good Woman co-written by Kathleen Edwards. At the Juno Awards, David Foster received the 2019 Humanitarian Award, while Pure Music Canada rockers Voivod won Best Metal Hard Music Album of the Year for The Wake, and Donovan Wood's album Both Ways, which features I Don't Belong to You, co-written by Hoxley Workman, won Contemporary Roots Album of the Year. Also in March, Sofia Reyes released her mega international hit R.I.P. with Rita Ora and Anita. Pure Music Italy superstar Coez released his fifth studio album Es Sempre Bello, debuting number one in his country and featuring the hugely successful title track, which would become the most streamed song of the year on Spotify Italy, and fellow Italian artist Geneva released their debut EP, Ruins, on Factory Flaws Records. In April, Jennifer Lopez released her single Medicine, featuring French Montana and produced by Sons of Sonics. Pure Music France celebrated big wins at the 9th Prix de la Création Musicale in Paris, where they picked up the Cover of the Year award for Aqua Surge's Si Tu Tiens Va, written by Léo Ferré, and Most Broadcast Award for Mitte Guim's La Meme, featuring Vanet, co-written by Renaud Rebio. And salsa star Victor Manuel capped off the month by winning Tropical Album of the Year for 25-7 at the 2000. 2019 Billboard Latin Music Awards. The month of May saw funk legend George Clinton and the Parliament Funkadelic celebrate their 2019 Lifetime Achievement Award at the Grammy Salute to Music Legends concert in Los Angeles. DJ Khaled released his new album Father of Assad featuring the inspirational track Higher with Nipsey Hussle and John Legend which contains portions of the Henry Mackenzie Davis gospel anthem Oh Give Thanks. Latin superstar Gloria Trevi released her new album Diosa de la Noche featuring the hit Hijo de Pú with Carol G. Rising Colombian R&B pop artist Jonah Camacho released his Plastico EP prior to his his big U.S. debut performances in L.A. and in New York for the Latin Alternative Music Conference. Donovan's rock classic Season of the Witch was used in teasers for Maleficent Mistress of Evil, and later in the year, Lana Del Rey would cover the song for Guillermo del Toro's film Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Our sub-publishing partners Big Deal Music's writers Julian Benetta and John Ryan celebrated their win for Most Performed Work at the Ivor Nervello Awards for Rudimentals These Days, and our very own Melanie C. reunited with the Spice Girls to kick off their incredible 13-date Spice World Tour, selling out stadiums across across the UK and Ireland. In June, we announced the signing of R&B star BJ the Chicago Kid, whose new album 1123 would be released later in the year, featuring the single Worrying About Me with Offset, and LMA wins the Viewer's Choice Award at the 2019 BET Awards for her hit single Trip, co-written with Volume Ventures' Quentin Gulledge. We welcome Chiquisu Rivera to the Pure Music family in July, alongside the release of her new single, Animate Veras. Mustard released his top 10 album Perfect 10, featuring several cuts co-written with Volume Ventures' Quentin Gulledge, and Justice West on the hit Ballin' with Roddy Rich. UK singer-songwriter Mira May released her Dark EP featuring their breakout single Angles with JME. Chance the Rapper released his highly anticipated debut studio album The Best Day featuring several great cuts co-produced by Volume Ventures' Trap Money Benny. And Beyonce's The Lion King The Gift soundtrack album featuring 070 Shake and Jesse Reyes' track Scar produced by Dave Hamlin debuted at number 2 on the Billboard 200. In August, UK singer Georgia Smith released her hit Be Honest featuring Burna Boy and co-written by Mira May. Also out of the UK, Gabrielle Applin released her hugely successful single Losing You featuring J.P. Cooper. Her third single off her album Dear Happy out in 2020. Pure Music Italy's Han released her great single Gymnasion. K-pop superstars Red Velvet's single Oompa Oompa, co-written produced by Pure Music Sweden's Christopher Semelius, was also released and would go on to win Song of the Year at the 2019 Asia Artist Awards. And Pure Music Germany announced the joint signing of singer-songwriter Mani Orison with our new publishing partners Neubau Music. With September came Natasha Bedingfield's long-awaited new album Roll With Me, produced and co-written with Linda Perry. Ken Burns' new outstanding documentary Country Music premiered on PBS featuring the stories and music of the Carter family, Jimmy Rogers, and more, along with our company founder, Ralph S. Peer, and his son and current CEO, Ralph Peer II. And the DreamWorks animated film, Abominable, debuted number one at the box office and featured Phil Bedreau's beautiful song, Dreams, co-written with Andrew Simple and Danger Twins' Girls Gotta. In October, Cigarettes After Sex released their highly anticipated new album, Cry, and finished off their sold-out world tour in the UK and Europe. UK folk trio Wildwood Kin released their self-titled album featuring the single, Time Has Come. Black Eyed Peas and J Balvin collaborated on the new single, Ritmo, which samples Corona's The Rhythm of the Night, 
Night and will appear on the soundtrack to Bad Boys for Life in theaters January. Mama Rodriguez followed up her single Aguante with her big collab Dame Bien featuring Guayna and Big Fridia. New Zealand-born singer-songwriter Jamie McDell released her new Botox EP shortly after making her big move to North America. Pure Music UK announced our partnership with UK radio host and presenter Whispering Bob Harris's Under the Apple Tree platform. And Pure Music Korea composer Jail Jung's beautiful score to the critically acclaimed film Parasite. Winner of the Palme d'Or at the 2019 Cannes Film Festival makes its worldwide premiere. In November, country superstar Jason Aldean's new album Nine, featuring 12 songs co-written by Pure Music Nashville's Michael Tyler, Jaron Boyer, Neil Thrasher, Alex Palmer, Jennifer Hansen, and Brandon Kinney, plus production from Michael Knox, debuts number one on Billboard's Country Albums chart. Also out of Nashville, Luke Combs' new album What You See Is What You Get, featuring Dear Today, co-written by Eric Dillon, debuts number one on the Billboard 200. Black Violin's new album Take the Stairs, featuring production and co-writes from fellow Pure Music songwriters Phil Boudreaux, Salam Remy, Sons of Sonics, and Andrew Simple debuts number one on Billboard's Classical and Classical Crossover charts. One of Pure Music Canada's newest signings, Bluegrass Folk Group The Dead South released their new album Sugar and Joy, featuring the single In Hell I'll Be In Good Company, which goes gold in Canada, and Spanish pop star Ana Mena released her single Sete Olvido with Diorto. Also in November, we celebrated big wins at the 20th Latin Grammy Awards when Luis Enrique y Cicuato Trio took home Best Folk Album for Tiempo al Tiempo, featuring music co-written by Rodner Padilla, Jorge Luis Chacin, and Julio Fowler with production by Julio Baguet. In Puerto Candelaria and Juancho Valencia's Yo Me Llamo Cumbia, featuring classics from the Pure Music Columbia catalog, won Best Cumbia Album. Then the 2020 Grammy nominations were announced with our writer's work on 17 nominated releases in 14 categories, including Best Traditional Pop Album for Andrea Bocelli's C with co-writes from Davide Esposito, Rafael Galazzi, and more, plus BJ the Chicago Kids' two nominations in the R&B categories, and Misha Fav Weinberg, Derek Burma, and Nina C. Young all received nods for their work in the classical categories. We then stormed into December, where David Foster released his new live album, An Intimate Evening, highlighted by his new song, Something to Shout About, from his upcoming Betty Boot musical and performed by Catherine McPhee. Maxim of the UK electronic group The Prodigy released his third solo album entitled Love More. After a string of dance club hits, UK singer-songwriter Laura White released the beautiful single Nobody. New Pure Music Canada signing and Polaris Prize winning artist Lito Pimienta released her first new music in three years with the powerful song Nupude. Following a great placement of the song regular in the new iPhone 11 Pro ad campaign, Pure Music France producer Atef Lija released his new EP Ultrason. Pure Music deputy CEO Mary Megan Peer was selected for Billboard's 2019 Women in Music Top Executives list. And Kathleen Edwards made her welcome return with the holiday release It's Christmas Time, Let's Just Survive, with more new music coming in the new year. And that's all for this Best of the Pure Music Minute 2019. Thanks to all our incredible songwriters for an amazing year, and we'll see you in 2020.